Good afternoon. My name is Marie Pushkarova. I'm a researcher in the Center of Optical Neurotechnologies in Scientific Research Institute for System Analysis. My purpose is to discuss our study post-training quantization of neural network through correlation maximization. The majority of neural networks which we use when solving image recognition problems have many parameters that have to be stored. The quantization and reduction of the number of weights are basic approaches allowing us to decrease the memory size necessary to store the neural network weights. The quantization is a reduction in the variety of the different values of the weights in the layer. The most popular quantization methods are application of the fixed point formats, binarization, ternarization, use of algorithmic scale, and so on. Usually, one can reduce the number of weights with the aid of such methods as Browning algorithms, sharing weights, tensor expansions, uh, and others. Some of these methods efficiently compress neural networks but are computationally expensive. Others may not be uh, efficiently enough uh, or significantly degrade the model. In our research, we explore the quantization process for trained neural networks using an assumption uh, that by maximizing correlation between the initial and quantized values of the weights, it is possible to minimize the errors of the quantized neural network. Uh, we perform the quantization after the neural network training without uh, the following post-training. This approach allows us to reduce the quantization costs. Now we will look uh, at proposed uh, quantization technique. Uh, for each layer, let us quantize the weights inside the interval with the maximal and minimal uh, value of the weights uh, in the given layer. Let B be the number of bits necessary to store the weights of one layer and n is the number of the quantized weight values. As we define the boundaries of the intervals where the weight values are constant. Let y be the quantized value inside the interval. It is not evident uh, how we have to choose the interval boundaries as well as the values inside each interval. We suppose uh, that we should maximize correlation between the input and the quantized values to obtain the less uh, uh, the error of the quantized uh, neural network performance compared with the initial neural network. For simplicity, we suppose uh, that inside the layer the distribution of the weights is uh, symmetric and uh, the averaged value of the weights is equal to zero. We can estimate uh, the correlation between the input and the quantized values as shown on the slide. And since uh, y is a constant inside the interval, the last equation is the sum of the integrals. Uh, to maximize the correlation, we have two sets of parameters. Uh, they are the boundaries of the intervals and the quantized values inside the intervals. For some time we forget about splitting into intervals and suppose that we know the boundaries. Um, then after the optimization procedure with regard to y we obtain optimal y means uh, quantized values. And then uh, with respect to x uh, we obtain an expression for the gradient. This expression allows us to implement a quick algorithm for correlation maximization based on the gradient disking algorithm. To initialize the gradient disking, it is uh, necessary to choose an initial partition uh, that is an initial set. In our simulation, we used the linear and exponential partitions from our previous work uh, as the initial sets. 
where parameters first segment bound is also chosen by means of maximization correlation. In our simulations, we used uh, an examined quantization of the pre-trained neural networks for SNED, Exception, and VGG. As a result of minimization, we obtained uh, the optimal boundaries of the intervals, as well as a corresponding set of the quantized weights. Then we used uh, the quantized weights in place of the input weights without post-training of the neural network. Uh, let's now talk about the experiment. Um, uh, now we will uh, look at line graph for the ResNet exception and VGG neural networks. Uh, we show the dependencies of the top five accuracies uh, on the number of bits reserved for storage of each weight obtained when we initialized them by linear and exponential splitting. The model accuracy increases so when we choose uh, the quantization with the maximal correlation between the quantized and input weights. The accuracy of our algorithm rises faster than the linear or exponential quantization. That means uh, that this uh, necessary less memory storage for quantized weights uh, to become higher accuracy. Uh, finally, let me just sum up uh, today's main topic. Uh, we developed uh, the algorithm for neural network quantization based on maximization of correlation between the quantized and the input weights. Uh, under such compression, uh, the required memory necessary to store it is approximately six times less than in the case of the full precision plot with the same with the past same accuracy. Uh, our compression allows uh, to use only three or four bits to achieve more than 60% top five accuracy for different architectures. Uh, thank you for attention.